All right, let's go over this problem that we had on exam one. So this was the one where we needed to use work energy. And remember when we did this exam, we hadn't covered um, conservation of energy yet. So the energy equation we're going to use is U equals delta T. All right, so let's look at our problem. We've got this collar. It's two kilograms. It's released from rest at A. It's going to slide down and it's going to hit this spring. All right, now it's got friction as it slides. Here's the coefficient of friction, 0.4. And we want to find the value of the velocity of the collar when it hits the spring. And then part B, we want to figure out how much the spring compresses. So what is that max deflection? And the problem called it X of the spring. So two things we need to find, V and X. First thing we want to do, let's draw a free body diagram. And let's use darker color for the box here. So here is the little collar. And now we need to put our forces on it. Okay, so we're going to have weight. And then we've got a normal force. And I chose the, this direction because I figure weight's pulling down on it. So it's going to push back up like that. And then we're moving this way along the rod. So friction's going to go in the opposite direction. And that'll be mu times n. All right, and then if we label our coordinate system, this will be x. I'm going to say that's y. So then if we look at our angles, that's going to be 60, and that's going to be 30. All right, now we've got this. And with that, what I need to do is figure out what forces are going to do work. So let's write that question down. Now remember, in order to have work, you have to have a displacement in the same direction as the force. All right, now it could be in the opposite, like, sign. Like it could be in this negative x when the force is going down, but they have to be along the same axis, okay? So if we look, our motion is in this x direction. So I want to look for all the forces that have an x component. So that means I've got friction. So that's one of them. And then we've got the weight, right? Because the weight has an x component. All right, so you can put wx for the x component. So now we've got that. Now let's go ahead and we're going to solve part A here. So we want to find V. Now remember, we're using U equals delta T. And delta T is changing kinetic energy. So that's 1 half M V2 squared minus V1 squared. So let's go ahead and find the left side first. All right, so U is going to equal the force times the displacement in the direction of that force. So for friction, we're right here, there's the force. Mu is 0.4, and then we have N. Well, I need to find N, right? Because I don't know what it is. So let's go ahead and do that. Whoops, I was about to draw the wrong direction here. So let's look at the sum of the forces in the Y direction. That'll give us N. So we're gonna have N minus the Y component for weight. So that'll be mg sine 30. And that's going to be set equal to zero because I don't have acceleration along this y-axis. And now if you solve, you get the weight times sine 30. So plug in your numbers. So you get 2 times gravity times sine 30. And that gives you 9.81. And that's going to be newtons. Okay, so here's n. We're going to take this. Multiply it by mu. All right, so we've got that. Now what do I need? I need the distance, right? Because work is the force times the distance. So I need the distance traveled. All right, well, if we're just hitting the spring right here, our distance traveled is going to be 0.5. And then you need to figure out if it's positive or negative. All right, so if your force and your displacement direction are opposite, you're going to put a negative. So that's what we have here. Because the force is going up the incline, our displacement is down the incline. So this will be negative. All right, next let's go to the weight. 
Okay, and there's a couple of ways you can look at this. You can find the x component for the weight and then find the x displacement. Or you can use this regular weight component in the y direction and then do the 0.5 um, cosine 30 if you wanted. All right, so either one's going to give you the same thing. All right, so I'm going to have the weight, which is 2 times gravity. And then I said 0.5 sine 60. All right, so now we've got this here. And then what does that equal? And this is positive, by the way, right? It's positive because weight's going this way, displacement's this way. So if you add those, you're going to get 6.53. And then I need delta T. So delta T will be 1 half M times the difference in the squares of the velocity. So delta T then will be 1 half times 2. And then you start writing my units in here. And then we'll have V2 squared. We don't know what V2 is, right? That's what we're looking for. And then we have our initial velocity. What should that be? That's going to be zero, right? Because it said at A, it was at rest. So that goes to zero. So that just leaves us with V squared, right? Or V2 squared. So now that we have this, we can set it equal to the 6.53. And then you can solve for V2, which is going to be 2.56 meters per second. All right, so that's how we would do that. So now we have our velocity right when we hit the spring here. And now let's go to B. So B wants the max deflection of the spring. So this collar is going to come down, hits the spring, it's going to push the spring down, and then it could go back up, right? So we want to know how far down the spring goes. Now we're going to use the same equation, right? The U equals delta T. Except for now, we're going to have to add something else in. So let's find U first. All right, first let's go ahead and let's do the weight component. All right, so I'm still going to have the weight, but now the distance traveled is going to be different because now I'm going to have the 0.5 plus, let's say we go down to here, this X distance. All right, so my distance then will be at 0.5 plus x. So that's going to give me the mass, which is 2. We have the 9.81 for gravity. And then for our distance, we're going to have the x plus 0.5, and that's meters there. And then we need that sine 60 to get everything along that same axis. All right, so now we've got this for the weight. And this is positive again because it's in the same direction as displacement. Now let's do friction. So our force is mu times n. All right, n is not going to change. And this is going to be negative again. All right, so we have 0.4 times 9.81. Distance now is 0.5 plus x. And now what do we need to add? The spring, right? Because I've compressed the spring now. So now I've got energy in that spring. Before, when the collar just hit the spring, the spring wasn't activated or whatever you want to call it, right? It hadn't compressed or stretched, so there was no energy in the spring. Once we compress it, though, there's energy there, so we have to put that in there. And for a spring, you're always going to have a negative here. And we're going to have 1 half K, which is 1.6 kilonewtons. We want to put that in newtons, though. So it's 1,600. And then we're going to do x squared. All right, I'm kind of out of room here. All right, so now we have that. And really it's x2 squared minus the x1 squared, but this term goes to zero. So now let's simplify this. All right, so this you're going to get negative 800 x squared 
plus 13.067x plus 6.534. That's going to equal 0. And quadratic equation, give you the answer. So x is going to be 0 0.0989 meters or 98.9 millimeters. All right, so that is your max deflection. All right, so on these problems, if you have a spring, you don't need to worry about that spring energy-wise unless you've compressed it or stretched it out. Once you do that, you have to include it because there is energy there. By the way, I forgot to tell you all about zero here. This zero is from delta T, which is the one half M, but this time V2 is going to be zero because we're going down until it stops, right? So V2 will be zero. And then V1 is also zero because we started at rest there at A. All right, kind of skipped over that part there when I was going through it. But that'll be your answer for that one.